This video is intended to provide information on how to account for VAT in preparation for the filing return process. This should be viewed in conjunction with our How to File a Return video. This video features an accounting for VAT flowchart, sample input and output tax worksheets, a VAT account, a VAT return form, tax invoices or receipts, working papers, and additional tips. This flowchart shows information relating to your inputs and outputs, which will feed into your VAT account and ultimately your VAT return. Your output is regarded as what you are selling or providing for which an amount is received, which should be captured in your output tax worksheet. Your input is regarded as expenses from the day-to-day -day operations of your business, which should be captured in your input tax worksheet. A summary of your input and output transactions should then be transferred to your VAT account. Any adjustments such as debit and credit notes or errors should also be taken into consideration. These figures should then be used to complete your VAT return. A tax invoice must be issued for sales made to another registered taxpayer. All invoices should include the registered taxpayer's name, address and contact details, the invoice number, the TIN of the buyer and the seller, the date, the description of goods, the price exclusive of VAT, and the total VAT. A tax receipt must be issued for sales made to a non-registered person. All tax receipts should include the registered taxpayer's name, address, and contact details, the receipt number, the TIN, the date, the description of items, the price exclusive or inclusive of VAT, and the total VAT. Information from these invoices and receipts will be used to complete the output tax worksheet. Output tax may occur by the sale of taxable items, self-supply, the issue of debit notes in respect of taxable supplies you have made, the receipt of credit notes in respect of taxable supplies made to you by your supplier, recovery of bad debt, adjustments, and imported services. This worksheet features a summary of standard rated, zero rated, exempt sales, the amount of VAT charge, and the total for each day. Any adjustments such as debit and credit notes or errors should also be taken into consideration. These totals should be transferred to the VAT account under the output tax column. Input tax can come from several sources, mainly local purchases and imports. Sources of input tax include domestic purchases, importation of goods, debit notes received, credit notes issued, 
bad debt, adjustments, or errors. Use the Input Tax Worksheet when recording input tax paid on purchases and expenses. Your supplier's tax invoices will provide all of the details needed. This worksheet features a summary of a supplier's tin, name, taxable value, the amount of VAT charge, and the total of each invoice. For mixed or partial activity, input tax is coded as A, allowable, M, mixed activity, and D, not allowable. This code allows invoices to be easily identified in the input tax worksheet. Once identified, calculate the figures by code and transfer them to the VAT account under the input tax column. Any adjustments such as debit and credit notes or errors should also be taken into consideration. There are worksheets for additional input tax such as imported services and deferred VAT. The total VAT from each worksheet should then be transferred to the VAT account under the input tax column. Now that your input and output tax worksheets are done, information from your VAT account will be transferred onto your VAT return form. The process for accounting for VAT is complete once your input and output tax worksheets, VAT account worksheet, and VAT return form have been completed. For more information on accounting for VAT, please see the VAT guidance on accounting for VAT and the Bahamas General VAT Guide on the VAT website at www.bahamas.gov.bs. For access to all worksheets, flowcharts, and working papers used in this video, please refer to the VAT website at www.bahamas.gov.bs slash VAT. You can also find VAT Bahamas on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, or you can contact the VAT Help Desk at 242-225-7280. Additional tips. Please note that daily invoices can be grouped in ranges on your output tax worksheet. For example, 1 to 150. To compute allowable input tax, identify the type of domestic purchase. That is A, allowable, M, mixed activity, and D, not allowable. To apportion input tax for mixed activity, use the apportionment formula A times B divided by C, where A equals input tax on mixed activity, B equals taxable supplies including zero rated, and C equals total supplies. Please remember the de minimis rule that relates to exempt and taxable supplies which allows a taxable person to claim the total input tax where the fraction B divided by C is more than 90%. If the fraction B divided by C is less than 10%, a taxable person may not claim the total input tax. Where the fraction falls between 10% and 90%, then the taxable person may claim that particular amount of input tax. For more information on the de minimis rule, please refer to Section 50, Subsection 3 of the VAT Act and Regulations 31, Subregulation 2, and Regulations 32, Subregulation 4 of the VAT Regulations. That concludes this video. By increasing our revenue, VAT will make it better for you. Lower custom duties and fairness to all. Convenient too.